Hey everybody, AmpRepairGuy.com, 203-892-4119. If you like the video, please like, share, and subscribe. I'll have more videos to come. So, I have the 6 meter amplifier here. I got the input circuit set up and tuned. This is my first 6 meter amp I've ever done. I've done a lot of lower HF amplifiers. So, I had to redo the filament choke. See, a tube has stray internal capacitance between the, pl between the uh, grid and the filament. So, with the 3CX 6000A7, it's roughly 42 picofarads. The filament chokes, being as they were so close to ground, were adding around 50 picofarads per side of the filament. So, I had way too much capacitance in parallel with the C2 cap for the Pi input network. So what I did was I had five ferrite pieces. I only needed three. I removed two of them and I'll show you what I did. Ah, so nice and clean, elevated, lots of clearance now. To go at a right angle here I took some eighth inch that started off as one by oh, one uh, an inch and a half by inch and a half by eighth inch thick angle aluminum. I cut it with my table saw both sides to length and I drilled holes for the five sixteenth bolts. I had to get some more ring terminals and crimp and solder those on. Take the socket apart again. <laughs> So that's all set. I reinstalled the 0.01 caps at the base to ground. I used the copper strap to keep the lead length nice and short, as you can see. So what we have going here is we have three 0.01 caps connected to the strap, three on this side, three on that side. The opposite end of each group of three goes to either side of the filament. So you have three caps basically going from here to one side, three caps going to the other side to keep the RF equal across each side of the filament. So we have a carbon comp resistor over here, it's about 51 ohms, actually it is 51 ohms. I uh, went through a bunch to find one that read 51 ohms. So we have the Pi coil. I have to change this hardware here to brass. This is what I have right now. I'll change these nuts and washers to brass later on. So you got the uh, eighth inch tubing coil. And I put a ring terminal on this side, crimped and soldered it. I squeezed and punched a hole through this side because this is a 632 screw and this is a number 10 screw. So got the RJ1A relay over here, strap length super short. The SO239, I ended up putting the connector through the rear, through the inside out, and I used one of these cone pieces that. Uh, allowed me to solder the shield to it and you know, obviously I uh, soldered the center conductor to the center uh, connection of the SO239 first and then slipped it over and then soldered the shield and put some heat shrink on it. So secured this uh, coax with some clamp. I used a copper piece of, to mount the RJ1A. So what we got going on here is we have a strap that's connected with a screw and it has extra lead, it, it's longer than it will end up being. Um, what I'm going to do is I'll have another piece RJ, uh, RG400 going to the RJ2Bs, the output relays. So I'll solder the two coax shields together. I will wrap the strap around and cut it to length and then solder the coax to the strap and also the copper bracket here so it'll have a really good connection to ground. These connections are temporary right here. Uh, I'll end up using a, a shaft isolator on this one and I'll have another one even though I don't need it on that one just so they match I'll have the same on both. So brass hardware holding the air variables down. So I'm going to put the cover on because with the cover on it adds a little bit, just a tiny bit more capacitance and it will throw the tuning out just a little bit. So this thing is already tuned. I'm going to show you the match on my 
Comet Analyzer. So we're going to energize the relay, turn on my supply. Let's turn this on. Okay, so we're going to start off at 49. Right now it's tuned to 51 megs. We're going to sweep it. Ready? See? Flat. So this thing is good to go. Let me shut that off. Let's bring it up to... Oh, how do we do that? Here we go. Bring it up to uh, 54 right there. See, one to one. So this will cover the entire six meter band. These knobs are temporary, the shafts are temporary, just allows me to tune it from the outside. So if you have an amplifier that needs repair, feel free to give me a call. 203-892-4119, ampreparguy.com. Take care.